Hey there guys, in this quick video I'm going to show you how to use custom number formatting in Google Sheets to truncate your currencies down into a more visually appealing format. So I'll be converting 8 billion, which is fully written out here, into something of a truncated manner that looks something like the 36 billion I have over here. So what I have here is a stock dashboard I have developed and I'll be formatting the numbers in my dashboard. So let's take a quick look. Okay, first step you want to go into formatting and then you go into number. Then you'll go down into more formats and custom number format. Now once you're in custom number format, it'll present you with a sample which will show you what your output will look like. Okay, so to have the notation of billions, I would want to go ahead and change what I have here. Sorry. So. Let me escape out of that really quick and show you guys again. Okay. So starting again. So I want to have, if it's eight billion, I want to, I want it to be displayed as eight point zero six nine billion. So to get that notation, I would backspace out. I would put a pound sign for the number and then a dot. And then I want I want to have three digits decimals displayed after. Okay. And now the notation for billion has three sets of commas, which each has three numbers following each comma. So that will display billions as a notation. Now this is also valid for millions because it will apply the millions after the dot. So if you have say 127 million, it will take that market cap and then put it after the dot. So it's gonna be 0.127 billion. So to indicate billion, I'm going to put a B, but it has to be in quotations because that's a, that's a notation that it takes. Then hit apply. And voila, there you go. So it displayed it and rounded it off into 8.07 billion. Let's see what it did different. So I'm gonna go into format. It saves your previous um, notations, by the way. Ah, yes. So custom number format. So eight point. Interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and click copy on that. Hit apply. And if you want to undo formatting, you can just hit clear format. Sorry, that did not do it. If you want to undo formatting, you can just go ahead and hit currency back again. And that displays everything for you. So to reuse that formatting, you can go into format and then click right there. There we go. That's much better. So 8.075 billion. I wanted to have three decimal positions added there. So let's go ahead, go ahead and try that on the remaining ones. So what you can either do is go through format number and select your previous formatting or what you can do is click on the cell that you formatted and click on that little box right at the right hand corner and click and drag all the way through. 
So you would want to click all the way, drag it all the way down through your data set. And that would revise your data set to the new formatting. Let's see if it makes sense. JP Morgan has a market cap of 273 billion. Yes, that makes sense. HSBC, I believe, 507 billion. Trust but ver verify, right? Let's make sure. I'm gonna go into a Google page here. Check HSBC stock. HSBC has a market cap of 507.70 billion. All right, so that checks off. Now you might notice that some companies here are not US based. So SoftBank, this might not be accurate. So for example, if I have a Chinese or a Japanese company in here, the market cap could be significantly off. So say for example, I have Tencent. That is definitely off. That is not in US dollars, that's why. Although the price is in US dollars, but market cap is not displayed in US dollars. So just keep an eye out for that. So that's basically how you use the custom number formatting to change your number notation to whatever notation you like. But in this example, I changed it from a fully displayed out currency set into a truncated version of that currency. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more of these kind of videos. And if you'd like to see something specifically on Google Sheets, let me know. And if you'd like to have a copy of the spreadsheet, the dashboard that I'm using, feel free to let me know in the link below and I'll try to make a public version available. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.